Hi everyone, it's Melinda. I wanted to take a moment and just explain a little bit about what's happening in the world. I know that there's a lot of fear and a lot of terror that's happening with recent events and recent attacks. And so I wanted to um, maybe give a different perspective of it. Not so much taking sides, not so much about saying, oh, they're right, we're wrong, or vice versa. It's really about understanding the mechanics of the energy. So I'm just going to go back to uh, an event that impacted my life pretty significantly, which was the Columbine shooting. And when the Columbine shooting happened, I lived within proximity of that experience. And what I noticed after the event itself was the ripple effect brought the community together. People were calmer. They were much nicer. They were more compassionate to each other. And so with that came this amazing wave of almost a higher vibration, more compassionate, more loving, and certainly I noticed less road rage. Actually, there was no road rage. And so for a moment, a little small blip in time, what we saw in the community was everybody coming together. What that does energetically is it brings the vibration up it elevates it. So every time we elevate our vibration, anything that's lower than that is going to be brought to the surface. And so with everything popping and popping and popping around, what we have is we have a systemic healing happening on the planet. And I think it's important to understand what that means and why it's happening. And so why is it? Why is all this violence and breaking out happening? Well, because every time one of these events happens, it raises the consciousness, it raises the vibration of the planet. And every time we raise the vibration of the planet, every time we bring more love, more understanding, more awareness to what's happening in events around us, everything around us that doesn't serve us is going to rise so it can be healed. If you believe in fractals, which I totally do, uh, the the idea of fractals is that everything that's happening on a microcosm is identical to the macrocosm. So when we look at healing on a microcosm, what happens physically in the body is that a uh, something in systemically isn't functioning well. And I see this a lot because I work with Gabriel Method and people start eating healthier and they start adding live grains to their system. They stop eating junk and sugar and actually what happens pretty commonly is they get sick for a small window of time that their bodies actually because they raise the vibration of their body the toxins then come to the surface so that they can be released from the system. That's what we're experiencing on the planet. Every time that we come together from one of these events, as painful as they are to experience, we're raising and lifting the vibration of the planet. We're coming together in more love, more understanding, more awareness that there's a problem. And every time that awareness shows up, it lifts the vibration for us as a whole. As that vibration changes, as it comes up, anything that no longer serves us is going to rise to the surface. So of course we're going to see the violence. Of course we're going to see the hatred. Of course we're going to see more fear because we're banding together in love, understanding, and awareness and compassion. Of course these things have to come out of the system. These are opportunities for us to heal. It's so painful and I know for many of us it's very, very scary to be in this place of seeing these outbursts of violence and we can judge them harshly. And the more that we get caught into the polarized conversation of right, wrong, good, bad, black, white, cops against blacks, Republicans against Democrats, men against women, whatever polarized conversation that you are participating in, your energy is feeding it. We must rise beyond it, above it, and escalate and de-escalate the conversations themselves. So just to bring the mechanics into perspective. When we come together with love, we're literally shining a spotlight 
on the dysfunction around us. It will rise for us to look at. And then it's for us to bring it into ourselves. Look within my own heart of where am I holding fear? Where am I holding the hatred? Where am I holding the lack of compassion? Where am I holding bigotry or racism? And clean it from myself so that what is being outpictured can then shift and change. I find Ho'oponopono probably the most powerful thing that we can do right now is this outside of us is data. Dr. Hugh Lenz spoke about that significantly. I had the wonderful opportunity to spend a weekend with him. It's all data. And as we look at the data around us, we can then look within ourselves to see what is it within me that is drawing this to my awareness. What is it that we're holding collectively that's drawing these experiences to our awareness so that we can heal? This is such an amazing time on the planet. It's unprecedented. Unprecedented that we have the ability to heal what we have not taken responsibility for in the past. Generations of genocide, of, of uh, power differentials, of race against race, religion against re religion, all of that has not been taken responsibility for. And here it is in our faces rising up for us to heal it, for us to take responsibility for it. So as you move about your life, and as you see these things come around you and pop up in the news, please understand that fear doesn't help, that getting into either end of the conversation doesn't help. Neither side is wrong, no, neither side is right. These are polarized conversations, and the more energy that gets put into that polarization, the stronger they're going to get. We must rise above it, lift our elevation up, raise our vibration, and understand something within me is drawing this in for me to heal. These events are for us as a, a humanity to come together and heal. And so as you move about, very gently disengage yourself from the conversations of right, wrong, good, bad. I implore you. It will bring more peace to your heart. And the more of us that are coming together, the more healing that's going to happen. It's very sad to see it happen in this way. And for, for those that have experienced personal loss, my heart and prayers go to you. And we can move through this with love, with peace, and with understanding. Please understand what you're, not, what you're feeling is not your own. If you could just, for today, ask your body's wisdom, how would I feel right now if I wasn't feeling the events in Dallas and, the, and everybody's reaction to those events? How would I feel different right now? Speaking to your body's wisdom, letting it know that you're wanting to make a distinction, having that understanding that you're not just feeling you, you're feeling everybody. And that's why people are reacting so harshly. I just spoke to someone this morning. How is it possible that someone could do something so cold-blooded? How is it they don't see what they're doing? Because they don't know that they're not feeling themselves. We're not feeling ourselves. We're interconnected. So if the herd of humanity is in an uprise, then guess what? My feelings are going to reflect that. So close your eyes, ask your body's wisdom. How would I feel different right now if I wasn't feeling those events? How would I feel differently right now if I wasn't feeling the polarized conversation around fill in the blank? How would I feel if I wasn't feeling the political debates? feeling the fear of terrorism? How would I feel different if I wasn't feeling the conversation around gun control? How would I feel different if I wasn't feeling everyone else? So that you can come back and bring the volume down that's in your body, whatever that is for you, that fear, that worry, feeling helpless, powerless, feeling threatened, whatever that is, you're not the only one. So you can minimize those feelings, and then you can address them within yourselves. Mm -hmm. Big blessings to you. And together we're going to get through this. I know that no matter what happens, it's unprecedented. And it's such an, a joy and an opportunity for us to evolve exponentially. Enjoy your Saturday. I know I'm going to. 
Much love and blessings to you. Take care.